Uh, hello, everybody. Welcome back to OCD Hi-Fi Guy. What I have in front of me is the Metrum Acoustics Adagio, and it's opened up. Um, this is um, a DAC made in Netherlands, and uh, the coolest thing that I really dig about this DAC is that it is committed to NOS. There are certain things... Okay, the fact it does not do DSD, I freaking love that. That was like one of the coolest things I thought. I'm like, man, these guys are great. They know what they they think is the real deal and what they think is BS, and they stick with the real deal, and they don't even make accommodations for the other crap, regardless if it means sales or customers whining about not having the latest format. I love it. These guys are really true blue audiophiles and all about the music. So I'm on board with these guys. Um, anyway, so... Here is inside. This is a true R2R. They've got these killer modules that they have that um, that are um, uh, proprietary uh, and um, a very unique architecture. It's modular. It's it's really something else. Um, what we're going to do now is put in the MQA module, which is this little part here that you buy separately if you want to add MQA. So this is the hardware part, uh, and you get it you know as good as it, it can be, evidently. And I don't even know what MQA sounds like. So tonight we'll listen to that and see how good it is. So it's really cool, actually. Um, it's you come down to the board here. This is the the um, digital board, like the input with there. There's the USB input, and who did those? Well, we won't say anything about that. Sorry, Anjo. I mean, uh, um, <laughs> he he's he. Uh, anyways, so look. Okay, so these three these three jumpers right here. We pull these puppies off. Okay, these can go aside. I'll probably like tape them to the inside of the chassis or something like that. But essentially, we're pulling these off because they're not, we use those pins and they're not, we don't need the jumpers in place, okay? So the jumpers come off, we set those aside for further use, and then we come in with this puppy, and we are going to just align it, you know, look at it, and get it nice. Actually, you know what I think I'm going to do? Check this out. This stuff is bad to the bone, okay? This is not audiophile BS. This is Stablent 22. Stuff used by NASA and uh, and uh, avionics uh, companies that uh, I mean, look, they put them on the back of the avionics instrumentation. Uh, uh, clearly, that's important back there because it saves lives. You know, you're going to crash the plane if they mess up, so it probably works pretty well. It enhances the contact uh, surface area and makes uh, less le there's less resistance at the interface when you put that on. So what I'll do is I'll apply this first to the pins that's stable in 22 it comes in a little kit um, with with these little they're like little um, brushes okay so we'll apply just a little teeny bit that stuff's expensive that little bottle this bottle's a hundred bucks and it's like um, I don't know what it is like a how many milliliters I can't tell anyways you'll find it it's full strength that's this full strength and you can you can dilute it with um, alcohol if you want to make a, a lighter um, mix so I am going to paint that on, on on these little pins here all the way around the three areas where they where they connect under these little headers and then I'll press this down into place and then um, and then we will have um, we will have MQA available to us on the Adagio and um, and maybe I'll talk about it a little later we'll, we'll do a video or something as we listen and see uh, what we think but this is the Metrum Acoustics Adagio true R2R uh, ladder type DAC NOS to the core you can't change that this is NOS no matter what you're not changing any filters or doing anything because there's no filters on here that's kind of cool and no DSD that's just the best but it's weird that you know I guess the MQA module was a little tip of the hat to people that want you know formats or whatever but it's a good way for me to try because I have not wanted to try it up until now um, and now I'll get a chance to. All right. So that is for the metric. That's it for Metro Acoustics and, uh, and for our, uh, MQA module modification. It's that simple. You just, you can do it yourself if you have one of these. Um, and, um, that's it. We'll talk to you guys later. See ya.